Move my hands, shoulders back and down, Perfect. spine straight, yes. buck tucked. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to taste like a pro. So what exactly does that mean? Well, let's start with what it doesn't mean. I'm not going to talk about tea ceremony and performance and those aspects of tea. But if you've been following us for a while, you may have heard us say that you can get all the information about the tea by tasting the tea. So if you're interested in learning to assess the quality of the tea, this video is for you. Start by lifting the cup by the brim. This way you won't get burned by the hot liquor and it'll be easy to observe. Be sure to note the color of the liquor, but also observe the transparency. Is the liquor dull or lustrous? Clear and bright? Full of fuzz? Take it all in. Before we take the first sip, we'll smell the liquor aroma, breathing deeply through your nose. Turn your head off to the side when you breathe out to prevent from blowing all the liquor aroma away. You'll want to do this twice. It's finally time to take a small sip. Feel free to slurp the tea. This encourages interaction between the liquor and the air, provoking different layers of aroma. Once the tea is in your mouth, don't rush to swallow it. Let it sit in your mouth for a few breaths. Inhale and exhale through your nose over the tea and feel how the aroma fills your mouth, nose, and even your head. Inhale a second time again, slowly. This was a big breakthrough in tea tasting for me when Jen showed me this technique. A whole new world of aromas opens up when you start to slow down and breathe over the tea. It will also be easier to notice the liquor texture with the tea in your mouth longer. Is the liquor thick, rich, and soupy? Or is it thin, like a tea-flavored water? Now it's time to slowly swallow the tea. Let the liquor gradually slide down. What does your throat feel like? Is it silky and smooth? Does it feel a little bit dry? Let's wait a moment before taking the next sip. Keep taking deep breaths in and out through your nose. Try not to open your mouth at this point. Is the aroma still there? Take another deep breath in and out. How is the lingering power of the tea and what kind of aftertastes are appearing in your mouth? Now you're ready for another sip. The liquor has cooled a bit. Repeat the steps we just did and observe how the tea performs at a lower temperature. Are more interesting notes coming out? Has the liquor texture changed? So is that it for tasting tea? Not at all. That's just the beginning. That's how to sip the tea so that we can start to access the deeper taste of the tea. When we talk about really tasting the tea, we've got to engage all of our senses. And I admit, I really struggled with this when I was first getting started. It takes practice and some instruction. And I'm lucky enough to have Jen right by my side to give me all the instruction I need. And you're lucky enough that you can hit that subscribe button and get all kinds of information from our videos and subscribe to our newsletter so you'll be the first to know if we're doing a seminar. So what kind of senses are we engaging? This is pretty incredible. It starts with when the water hits the leaf and just listening to that sound. I know that's a fairly ninja move, so it's not necessarily the starting point, but you can jump in and observe liquor color when you brew the tea. You want to pay attention to the leaf as it unfurls during the session. Uh, the aroma of the liquor as it progresses and the aroma of the gaiwan lid and the bottom cup. These are all important factors. You even want to reach out and touch the leaf. That's right, you can't be shy when you're really tasting tea, you've got to get physical. Feel that texture of the leaf and how it, how it responds to your touch. Even tear it up. Just have some fun with it. Another tool we have at our disposal and that you may have already heard of as a tea taster is the flavor wheel. It's absolutely great for providing us with helpful reminders. I admit, I leaned on this a lot when I was just getting started writing tea descriptions for the website. But at the end of the day, if you've never smelled a pine tree, you won't know that that's what you're detecting in your tea aroma. So a really important part of becoming a great taster is trying all kinds of foods and getting out there and smelling all kinds of aromas. Flowers, grasses, trees, fabrics, books, anything. And also put yourself in environments where these aromas will be present. Go on hikes, get yourself into kitchens, mills, farms, any aroma you can expose yourself is going to be helpful to add to your library. On the other hand, 
Don't get overly obsessed with coming up with super fancy, perfect tasting notes. I got caught up in this a little bit myself, where I would feel like if somebody gave a tasting note that seemed so uh, accurate that I had somehow given a wrong tasting note or didn't get the tea. That's not the case at all. We're actually sharing these tasting notes so that we can bring our own experiences and interpretations to the table. Everyone contributing to this pot is how we get closer to the actual taste of the tea. But to really advance your tasting skills, we've got to get beyond flavor. While I was in China this spring, tasting two really great Bai Hao Yin Jian or tasting Te Guan Yin Mao Cha, flavor notes were rarely used to describe the tea. They might drop one or two to get started, but the conversation very quickly turned to things like mouthfeel, throat feel, how lingering was the tea? What was the texture of the liquor? We're not comparing black tea with white tea here. We're trying to figure out which Bai Mudan is good and which Bai Mudan is great. We're trying to figure out if this Lao Tsong Shui Xian we're tasting, which means old bush Shui Xian, is really from an old bush. We want to know if that 80s Puara is legit. To get at that information, we have to go beyond flavor description. You're on your way to tasting like a pro. The sipping instructions at the beginning of the video may seem a little detailed, and really, whether you take two breaths or three breaths while you're sipping, it's not that important. The key is to slow down and really listen to the tea. As you do it more and more, those steps are really going to become second nature, and you'll start to just do them all the time. But to really assess the quality of the tea, we absolutely have to get beyond flavor. Now, if you're someone who loves to taste, just taste different teas and gather the flavor notes and describe the tea, or even if you're just somebody who likes to sit in the sun and drink tea, of course, that is what tea is all about. But if you're curious about the quality of your tea and you want to get better at assessing your tea, then you have to get beyond flavor. Something that really helped me accelerate this process was side-by-side -side tastings. You grab two similar teas and you brew them at the same time and taste them. It really helps those subtle nuances pop out and become more obvious. I really hope you'll give these techniques a try and leave us a comment on how it went. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notify button so you'll know whenever we publish a new video. Until next time, keep steeping!